So I want to make a small vlogging camera. I'm just going to use this guy. It has a microphone input so I can plug my mic right into it. Ideally, mount this on top of there. Doesn't quite work that way. And I have no way to monitor my picture. So I found this little guy on clearance and it's a basically a chassis that the camera sits in. And when you turn it on, it sees what you see. So that would be nice. But I still have no way to mount the microphone on top of the camera. So I found a couple of these old uh, plates for hot shoes for a Nikon camera, or flash rather. I figured if I cut this plate off and glue it on here, I could mount this on here and then I could mount my microphone on the camera. So it would be a nice light all-in-one solution. So what I did is just that. I have another plate. I cut it out. It's a cold shoe, it's just a plastic clip, nothing fancy about it. Microphone mounts inside there, flash mounts inside there, whatever mounts inside there. So I cut it out, sanded the edges, sanded it on my spindle sander, give it a little bit of a round profile roughed up the top of this. I'm going to glue it right there. That's my plan. So, I'm going to use this fancy stuff and glue it on there. Activator, squeegee it on the parts, wait one minute, and then glue it. Yeah, it's just like a Sharpie. Wait one minute. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Still waiting. Has it been a minute yet? Hmm. Okay, that's long enough. I don't glue my fingers to this thing. Well, basically super glue for plastic. Probably a good idea to do it without the camera in there. I'm going to let that dry and then come back to it. 
So this is the final piece. Still opens. I didn't glue the hinge shut like I thought I would. It's on there rock solid. The glue is hard, shiny, but hard. It might be a little soft on the inside, but let's try this out. Oh yeah. That's awesome. So, here we go. Oh, another little thing I didn't tell you about is yes, there's a microphone port on here. Right there. But, there's no microphone hole on this little guy. So what I had to do, and I didn't film it, so I took it apart and cut away the little metal tabs that are in there and used the soldering iron, keeping away from that little circuit board in the side and melted a hole right through to where, and you probably can't see that, but where the jack is located. Ta-da! And then I had to cut down this guy so it would fit in the hole. Just took the little plastic shield off, but the uh, there's an inner plastic plug, and I took the rubber off, excuse me. So, it clicks right in there. Ta-da! And then that plugs into that. And I can put this little windscreen guy on. Boom. And fire it up. And I have picture and audio from the external mic because once the external mic is plugged in this unit receives external audio so now I have a oh, battery died yep so now I have a mini vlogging camera that weighs I'm guessing about a little over a pound, if that. So there you go. Little mini vlogging camera setup. I can just hold this with my hand, but I wanted to handle. I really like this uh, GoPro clampy clamp. Seems like it would hold the weight of this camera nicely. And then I can use it as a handle and clamp it to something. So, GoPro has their proprietary mounts. And Sony has their proprietary mounts. They don't match each other. Their bases don't match. GoPro, for some reason, won't make a quarter by 20 adapter. Which would be nice, because I could just screw it on there and then click it on there, no problem. Sony uses a quarter by 20 with this little post, which fits in that little hole nicely, like so. Of course, I don't have a quarter or a screwdriver with me, so I'm gonna use this outlet cover. Alright, well, still won't mount in there. So, what I did is, I took the bandsaw and basically cut off the ears on the GoPro mount, ground it flush, and then stuck on the Sony plate. So now, I have a Sony mount on the GoPro clampy arm. So here we go. Check it out. It's a 
selfie stick vlogging camera dealy whacker super light one thing I don't like see that microphone I don't know why they did it like this but they mounted it in this horizontal plane right here so if you bounce it the microphone wiggles up and down if you had one more point of contact or two yokes it wouldn't do this it doesn't affect the audio but it's annoying and distracting and kind of looks weird as it's like wobbling around on there um, the wind cat dead cat muffler thing is not in the way of the lens so you can't see it in the sh in the shot and so far I like it it works pretty good I just thought I'd show you I could either zip tie this or just wrap it around this bottom of this post make sure it's not touching the microphone and the uh, uh, cords are out of the way but just for demo that's it so I got my vlogging camera like so and then if I needed to I can clamp it to something rotate it wherever you want only drawback is I don't have a tripod I can just take it off and then sit it on the table or on the base and it sits relatively flat sometimes you gotta put something under it to keep it level or prop it up or whatnot I'm still working on that problem wait I have a solution I figured it out okay so this is a Manfrotto tabletop tripod dealy whacker all right in order to use this on here to have to take the base off and then screw it on here that would get annoying if I wanted to use this guy and then swap it to this tripod so what I did is GoPro has a quarter by 20 uh, clampy mount or whatever the, the the female version of it female part is Sony doesn't have one that has a quarter by 20 mount on it so I hacked the GoPro one stuck another mount to the Sony uh, GoPro mount and cranked that guy on there now I have boom instant desktop tripod the camera's light enough that the tripod doesn't well, it's a little back heavy but if you mount it right and get it sitting straight works great and then when I want to use the clamp I just slide it onto the clamp and if I want to take both of them I can just grab this guy in the clamp hang it straight down and actually acts as kind of a counterweight to the camera so it's very the footage is nice and smooth so that's my crazy miniature vlogging setup right there thanks for watching so this is vlogging from my new fancy little micro vlog setup it's just clamped to my dashboard and it's kind of cool because now uh, it's not in the way it's not this big giant thing it's just this little tiny camera so let's see how this works <laughs>